how to use keywords on YouTube to get more views. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find the right keywords and add them to your videos so that you can get more views on YouTube. I'm also gonna share with you the tool that I use to optimize my videos and rank number one in YouTube search. This allows me to get views on a consistent basis. As a new channel, you need to be able to eliminate the competition so that you have a better chance of ranking inside of YouTube search and allowing yourself to get more views. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because I'm gonna share the tips, tricks, and techniques that can help you get more views on your YouTube channel. Knowing how to find the right keywords for your videos can be make or break for your YouTube channel. So when you're first starting out, it's so important to make sure that you have the right tools at your disposal to help you discover the right keywords that are gonna help your videos rocket to success. I'm also gonna show you exactly how you can look at the best ranking videos on YouTube and see what kind of keywords they're using. This is gonna help you learn from their success and apply it to your YouTube channel so that we can start increasing your views. The tool we're gonna to be using is called TubeBuddy. If you don't have a TubeBuddy account yet, then click on the link down in the description below and you can sign up for a free account with TubeBuddy and then we're gonna show you how to use this amazing tool to get the right keywords for your videos. By finding the right keywords using TubeBuddy, we're gonna eliminate the competition and help you rank higher in YouTube search, which is gonna help you get views day in and day out. This is the secret sauce that you need to kickstart the growth on your YouTube channel. It's how I first got started. If you can eliminate the competition, so you're not competing against the big YouTubers out there. If you can stay targeted on specific long tail keywords, then you're gonna be more likely to rank for these search terms and start getting views on a consistent basis. This will help you build up trust with YouTube and prove that you can provide valuable content that people like to engage with. Over time, you'll be able to show YouTube that people like the content that you're creating by getting them to like your videos. Don't forget, we always wanna create that valuable content so that we can get our viewers to watch our videos for longer and longer and longer. This is gonna help you rank higher in search and get more views out of the keywords that we've specifically found for you. So let's not waste another second and jump onto the laptop so I can show you how we can use keywords to get more views on your YouTube video. First, let me show you how to add keywords to your video when you're first uploading it onto your YouTube channel. So I'm gonna show you an example here. Let's go and upload our video. Now, once your video has started uploading, you'll see the progress bar at the bottom. We're going to then head down to the bottom and click more options. This is where you can add tags or keywords to your videos while your video is uploading. So the first thing I like to do is I've already optimized the title for the keyword that I want to target. So I take my title and I always paste the title as my first keyword. And then I head down to TubeBuddy, which is the tool that we use to optimize the keywords on our video. And they will start recommending suggested tags for the topic that you have created your video for. They use this from the title that you've added. So depending on what you decided your title, which I want you to make sure that your title is a long tail keyword to reduce the competition for your video. Then I like to head in here and add the three tags that TubeBuddy has suggested by clicking on the green plus button. And there you'll see now we have four tags in there. If you do upgrade to the paid version of TubeBuddy, then you do get a whole lot more but what I'll show you later on, once you've added these tags and we head into editing the video, once it's finished uploading, then it will refresh and show you another three tags and you can keep refreshing and checking more suggestions from the TubeBuddy tool. Now I have a few other keywords that I have in mind 
that I'm going to use for this video that I'm going to type in before we head on to the next step where I'm going to show you how to find tags that are relevant for your specific video. Now, one of the nice things about this TubeBuddy tool is as you start typing in your keywords that you want to add, they're also going to give you those first free three suggestions that you can use for your keywords. So you can see here I've typed in how to get custom thumbnail and this has given us how to get custom thumbnails on YouTube 2020, which is very similar to our title, but instead of enable, it's got get which is a good keyword. And then there's one for 2018 and then how to get custom thumbnails on YouTube Studio. So I'm gonna add this one and you'll see it gives us a green tick once we've added it. And I'm going to add the third one. Now, if we head back here, we can then carry on typing and see what other suggested keywords it's going to give us. So if I put in custom thumbnails, there's custom thumbnails on YouTube, custom thumbnails on YouTube not working, and custom thumbnails on our phone. So this first one is relevant for us, the other three aren't. We're going to head back out, and I'm going to try enable custom thumbnails. And if we go back, see if there's anything different, enable custom thumbnails YouTube 2020. Enable custom thumbnails on YouTube. So that's a nice one and the third one. Now I don't want you to fill your tags here. I normally head around between 200 and 300 of the 500 characters. And then I like to go on to the next step where I'm going to show you how you can see what videos that are ranking in search for your target keyword and you can see exactly what keywords they are using and you can copy some of these keywords if they're relevant for your video. So let's head into next and we always upload all our videos as unlisted so we can keep adding those tags into our videos. Then you'll see as our video has finished uploading, we'll head into the editing part of our video and we can keep optimizing our video. What I like to do is head over to YouTube while it finishes uploading and type in the title of my video to see what other videos are ranking for that specific keyword. So you'll see one of our older videos here, how to enable custom thumbnails on YouTube. 71,000 views is ranking first and an older one from a year ago is ranking third and we've just released a new one a week ago and it's ranking fourth. So you can see the tactics that we are teaching you here work and you can rank for these kinds of keywords. Now the TubeBuddy tool that I want you to use for your keywords will show you a tab on the right hand side and I want you to click on show keyword score. This is gonna show you the search volume together with the competition for the specific keyword and give you an overall rating. So the search volume here is fair and the competition is good. Now we're always looking to hit in the green area. So search volume in the green is really, really high and the red is very, very low. Competition, the red is high competition. So it's gonna be a lot harder for you to rank against red competition. And green is low competition, which is good. So we're looking to balance these two and it'll give you an overall rating and for this specific keyword, it's 58 out of 100. So we, in the yellow, we want to try and get that into the green to make sure that we are eliminating enough competition so that we can rank for that search term. Another great one that TubeBuddy gives you is related searches. So you can see related to the keyword that you're using, they will give you all of the suggestions. So here's one for iPhone. The second one is for Android. And the third one is for iPad. So that's just giving you variations of the video keywords that you can use as tags in your videos. And then they give you a really useful tab of the most used tags for these specific keywords. So there's YouTube custom thumbnail, YouTube thumbnail, and custom thumbnails on YouTube. 
So if you click on the most used tag, YouTube is then going to search that term for you. And this is a great tool that's built into your TubeBuddy plugin for your videos on YouTube. Now, what I like to do is go and look at videos that are ranking high for these high specific search terms. If we go and look at the keyword score, you'll see the competition for this tag is much higher. It's in the red here and the search volume is even higher. There are 38,000 searches a month for YouTube custom thumbnail. So what I like to do is go into the first two or three videos that are ranking for this specific keyword. And then once you're inside the video, you'll see TubeBuddy has another tab on the right hand side that gives you all the information about the video. This is why this tool is so great and it helps you so much to optimize your keywords and your tags on your videos. So it gives you a whole lot of information, but if we scroll down to where it shows you the tags, it shows you all of the tags that video influencers have used on this video. So then you can click on show search rankings and it'll show you exactly where this video is ranking for those specific keywords. And then if you like any of the keywords that they have used on their video and you want to use some of them on your video so you can optimize your video for these similar keywords you can click copy to now i wouldn't suggest copying all of their keywords but i would copy the ones that are relevant to your specific video we haven't created a tutorial it's just how to get the custom thumbnails so we'll untick that because that's not relevant for our video then then the YouTube thumbnail maker, no, we didn't mention anything about a thumbnail maker. It's not a thumbnail creator, no thumbnail creator. It is for free, it's not in 2016, and we don't talk about the size of the thumbnail. So only copy the tags that are relevant, and then you can unselect the ones you don't want, click copy to clipboard, and then head back to your video, and let's head into the editing mode on your video to add the tags that we've just copied. So click on the pencil to go into the editor, scroll down to where the tags are, and we can paste those tags that we've just copied from that video. Then I want us to head into the second one and have a look if there are any keyword tags that are used on this video that we would like to add in that we didn't think of. So let's have a look how to add a custom thumbnail. We've got that. How to add a custom thumbnail on your YouTube video. I don't think we had that tag. Can you add a custom thumbnail on a new YouTube channel? So those are two really cool ones. So I'm gonna go select none and I just want those two. So I want that how to add to a video and the one near the end to a new channel. How to add to a new channel. So I'm gonna copy those three keywords because those are relevant for my video. And then I'm gonna paste them into the tag section on my video. Now you'll see I've gone over the limit of tags that I can use. So now I need to remove some of these tags. Now I don't like using these really high competition keywords. So I like to take those ones out because those are really hard to rank. We wanna eliminate the competition and rank for longer tail keywords. Yeah, the custom YouTube thumbnail maker, we forgot to remove that one. So I'm gonna take that one out and we're one character short. So you can play around with this and see how you're going to add and which tags you can use. So now we have 474 of 500, so we're looking good. We're going to click Save. And then what I want you to do is head back and then come back into the editing part of the video. And let's have a look at those tags that TubeBuddy is now going to suggest now that you've got all of them. So they've said custom thumbnail. You don't have custom thumbnail yet. So let's have a look. We have custom thumbnails, but we don't have custom thumbnail. This is one of the high competition keywords that we did remove. How to enable custom thumbnails. Thought we added that one, but we didn't. So I want that keyword, how to enable custom thumbnails. I'm gonna add it back in, but you see how we go over. Then I'm going to remove one of them. I'm gonna remove this custom thumbnails on YouTube. That's gonna take us back into under our 500 characters. And then there's enable custom thumbnails on YouTube. I like that keyword, so I'm gonna add it in. 
it's going to take us back over and then I'm going to remove one how to add a custom thumbnail to your video I'm going to remove that one and we're at 466 and I'm happy with that and I'm going to click save so the great thing is with the TubeBuddy tool, you get to have a look at the keywords here and the recommended tags that they give you. When you search the specific keyword, the Search Explorer tool gives you a great access on the right hand side here. And then when you go into each specific video, you get this great video analytics that it shows you and it shows you where these keywords rank on the specific keyword. The other great place you can have a look for tags where TubeBuddy gives you a great tool called the Keyword Explorer. So you can launch the Keyword Explorer from here. Once you're inside the Keyword Explorer tool, you can type in your target tag keyword and click Explore. It's going to then give you the overall score with the search volume competition and the optimization strength for your channel. So this is a great extra that they give you that shows you it's specific to your channel and represents the strength of your channel to explore that keyword. You can then explore common video tags on the right hand side here. So if we click on YouTube custom thumbnail, that's going to give us a poor score, but it does give us nice related searches that people are typing into YouTube currently that you can target. So a lot of you YouTube is looking for YouTube custom thumbnail without verification. YouTube custom thumbnail problem, how can you solve that? And YouTube custom thumbnail not showing. So you can see exactly what people are typing in and you can use these tags in your videos to target more of your audience by eliminating the competition. If you don't have access to TubeBuddy yet, you can have a look at the link to our video where we show you how to get the plugin for Chrome and how to create a new account on TubeBuddy. If this video was valuable to you, make sure you smash that like button. And if you have any questions or queries about keywords for your videos, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you out. To find out the exact steps that you need to take to accelerate your views on YouTube, be sure to watch this video right here, where we walk you through the steps that you need to take to get more views on your YouTube videos. If you're interested in starting and growing your YouTube channel, then make sure you take your first step today by smashing that subscribe button, because we create new videos every single week, helping you start and grow your influence on YouTube.